Hi, welcome. My name is Carla, and I am the owner of Delicate by Carla, a Goldfield jewelry business. And y'all, I am so excited that you are joining me for this video. It's the very first time that Delicate by Carla is traveling where I am staying at a hotel overnight to be a vendor at a women's conference. I do lots of women's conference and outdoor markets, selling our gold filled jewelry. And I'm so excited to be bringing you guys along for this one. It was a super, really exciting day. I got to have my friend help me out, my mom and I went together and my friend with, went with her mom. It was just a really good, refreshing time. Now, what you see me unpacking here is something that I posted on Instagram Instagram a few weeks ago, but I am so excited to share it here. If you are a vendor, have a small business or a makeup artist, this is the chair you need. It is incredible. I have been able to use it at two events at this point. Guys, it is amazing. It is absolutely amazing. And the next vlog that's coming up and maybe two more videos from this one, I am going to show you how I use this table at the event that I went to. So if you wanna check that out, stick around and I will show you how I use it. I ended up not using it too, too much at this event because honestly, I just did not have the space for it, but it has this little side table that pops up and you can put your little Stanley cup or whatever water cup you use. It also has this mesh kind of net underneath where I usually stick my backpack and it has a side pocket on the other side where I stuck extra bags and supplies at my women's conference that I went to. Um, so this is an amazing $48 chair from Amazon. It's a little bit heavy to carry, but it's so worth it because it is that comfortable and extra wide. It has armrests. It is incredible if you're a vendor at events. Cortina for the girls' conference and the disco ball is so cute. Yes, this is nice. Yes. That's how I do it. That's how I like it. Yeah, we have a fridge, mom. Mm -hmm. Nice. Oh, it's so fast. Welcome to Sanford, Florida. We just got here literally like five minutes ago. We've just been checking out the hotel room and I'll show you around a little bit, but Hola. this is my mom. Hi. The designated driver. This is my mom. Oh, I'm covering my face. We just got to the hotel. I'm excited because we have a fridge, microwave. Mom did good. We have two beds. I love it. We already got our clothes hung up and ready to go. I have two outfit choices for tomorrow because today I'm gonna go super comfy because I have to do all of my setup today. But those are the two options ready to go. Well, I left my card at home and I came to Walmart to buy another one and I was really hoping that I could get the $50 one, but I've been needing one for the beach. But why is this $80? Goodness gracious. All because it's all terrain and the wheels are thicker. Yeah, the wheels are way thicker and that means that I can use it at the beach and sand, which the one that I have is this one. I gotta go get a cart. But I'm a little bit bummed out about it because I don't want to spend $80 and it's blue. So I've been needing a second one for my markets. I don't want to dish out 80 bucks. I just don't feel like it. I think I'm going to do it. Also, why are these so cute? 15 bucks for this big old thing. I think I'm going to get it. That's actually a really good deal. Stanley Cup who? I just don't like these bendy straws. I'm sick of these bendy straws. I like this. This is super cute. I drink a lot of water throughout the day. I'm gonna do the $80 one. The heck with it, we'll need it. We'll have it for years to come. We live in Florida and we go to the beach quite a bit. So we will do it. 
I'm on my way to find cowboy boots because I ordered some from Amazon and they didn't get here in time. After a successful trip to Walmart, I was able to get that big car. And let me tell you, the $80 car was well worth it. It was able to hold my chair, my table, my two crates, my two totes. Yes, two totes is what I took. I had my stand. I, that's like a whole other like bag with that stand that you see us putting together. So needless to say, I was so happy that I bought this $80 Heart. I think it's the one I'm gonna be using from now on, especially for bigger events. So I was really glad I bought it. And then my friend and I worked together while my mom and her mom were actually inside the church. And this is a lobby of the church, but they were like inside where the services are held for a pastor's conference. The true really conference was gonna be taking place on Saturday. So they sent out a really great email and Listen, I wish every vendor were like this detailed because they really helped the flow of communication. So as soon as we arrived into this lobby, there was a paper with the name of my business sitting right there on the floor, taped to the floor, and I knew exactly where I needed to go. I knew I had a six foot table space and I was just able to start putting everything together because I knew exactly where I needed to be. And the organizers met me while we were putting all of this together and introduced themselves. But they sent an email the week before telling me that on Friday, while the pastors uh, were in their conference, that we could be doing our setup. And then we could also show up the day before at like seven in the morning or something like that. And be able to set up as well. So I chose the option of coming the day before to fully set up. You can see that chair there. We ended up, ended up just tossing that, not using it in the display or uh, it just wasn't worth it. And then it was, it was such a tight space. I think I wish we had a little bit more space, but it ended up working perfectly fine. And anyways, on this email, they really explained everything that we needed to have, that, that we were not going to be provided a table, that we needed to bring our own. And I love this, though some people might be like, oh, that's harsh, but man, I love that they did that. They basically said, hey, your table, you need to put a cover on it. It can't be a plain table because you need to have a place to put totes or uh, you know, whatever you're not using underneath. Like basically, in nice words, they were like, do not let your display be messy, <laughs> which I appreciate because honestly, when vendors around your display are not ready and not set up in time and also they are kind of they got totes everywhere and it's messy it can really impact people coming to your booth so I think that's just some vendor etiquette that we are prepared ready to go and we have a nice put together organized display so that we are honestly helping each other out so I really love that it took us all in all about an hour and a half to put our display together and let me tell you we were sweating we were we're kind of trying something new with this new frame that I bought. I got it from Amazon. I'll link it down below. But hanging our sign up there, it was hard. Actually, a vendor neighbor came over and assisted us, <laughs> which we really appreciated. I don't know why we were struggling. Like I was able to put it out on my last event, but I was just struggling with this one. And it was overall just a great experience to be able to show up on Saturday and our display be fully ready to go. And then something else that I did I, that I think some of you might be like, oh no, is that I actually put my jewelry up, even though we were going to leave our jewelry sitting there overnight. The thing is when we left almost everyone had left as well because we had only till 9 p.m from 6 i believe to 9 p.m is what they gave us to set up which was oh my goodness plenty of time however it, it was not gonna be enough time to show up in the morning running from the hotel to put the jewelry up and display it so i chose to just leave it sitting overnight and we did not have a single issue those curtains that you see there i just literally took them my friend and i just draped them over our jewelry and it made our display look like hey we're closed for business and it hit the jewelry so we had no problems and it was a church and guys I have amazing luck at churches and it was churches where we knew people personally so it just really ended up working perfectly fine
Once we were fully set up, it was so sweet to see women that were there just kind of for worship practice or getting ready for their part of the dance team, like they were part of the event, come over and start shopping. That was super sweet. We were like barely done with our setup, but they came over and wanted to check out our jewelry and ask questions. And I think I actually ended up selling some of the jewelry very early on tomorrow because the women came back and were like, hey, this is what I want to get. So that was super, super sweet to do. I have to say that I am so happy with how the display came out. I am happy with this cart that helped us to get everything inside in one trip because we did have to park a little bit far away. But the way that the display came out just looks so good. My friend that you see here helping me out, she actually used to work at a jewelry store in Puerto Rico and she has been so great with like, I just get pointers from her, just the way that she sells the jewelry. She doesn't come off salesy. She just comes off like a friend. And I love that because that's totally my vibe and I have learned so much from her. So just huge, huge shout out from her. But yeah, you guys came out and wanted to shop the jewelry and it was the sweetest thing ever. I tried to give my friend a little bit of a training on how to check people out with our Shopify cash register, but honestly, it's a lot to learn. And I ended up really focusing on checking people out and she focused a lot on selling packaging orders and it worked out so great. We were a great team. My mom and her mom finally came out and my mom was really who had the idea to cover this up and make sure it was safe. So shout out to her because it looked so good. And then it was a surprise in the morning when we pulled those back and everybody was like, whoa, that is some really pretty jewelry. Welcome to conference day. Let me tell you, we got home so late the night before. We ended up going to Chick-fil-A for dinner and then we just got a few hours of sleep. I couldn't sleep because I was just so excited and nervous. I get so nervous before events and I just want everything to be perfect, but this conference did it right. They gave the women like this kind of bingo sheet where they had to get a stamp and I ended up buying like a flower rose looking stamp, which is something I use in my logo. So that worked out perfect and it was also eye-catching. And the women had to go through all the vendors and if they got bingo, then they would be entered in to win a prize. We ended up going in for the worship service to go and receive as well. It got slow after all of the women went into the conference. So we went, we listened to a couple of the sermons and we also went and worshiped for a little bit because why not? We had no customers and there was no reason for us to be out there. So we went, we hung out, and we received, and then we would go back to our table periodically just to make sure everything was fine. There was ushers watching the tables and stuff. So we honestly were just fine. I really do not have a sense of like, oh, you know, someone's gonna steal from me. I should probably get better at that. But y'all, I, I just sleep way too soundly at night to worry. So when I'm in a church and I know there's people around that are gonna watch our stuff, I'm okay with that. We ended up having an amazing time. A huge shout out to Stephanie for hanging out with me and helping me out. It got really, really hot in that lobby. That's the only drawback of this event. But we may do. I'm super glad I wore like a nice breezy dress and tennis shoes. Very happy I did that instead of wearing like a blazer or long sleeve dress. But overall, we had an amazing time and I cannot wait to meet more of you at our upcoming events because we will continue to focus on women's events and blessing you guys with jewelry. So we shall see you on the next one. See you next Friday. Thank you.